Hi everybody, welcome back to the channel. Um, something a little bit different this week. No, don't turn off the video. I know this is a wargaming, board gaming uh, channel. Uh, this is a board game, perhaps a little bit out of context to what I would normally play or do. Um, but it really appealed uh, in terms of the concept, uh, the strategies that you might be able to play and um, obviously it was linked to a very famous film that I watched uh, as I was growing up and uh, I loved some of the components and the idea of multiplayer as well as as it states on there a solitaire option so this is the night uh, it is labeled as the solitaire zombie attack board game but as we'll show you in a moment there are lots of other options for playing as well and this is published by White Dog Games. Uh, so a little unboxing, first of all, just to show you. Um, it's in the usual high quality Blue Panther uh, packaging that White Dog use. On the back here, uh, just confirms it's for one plus players, one to two hours. And solitaire suitability is the highest complexity is at the low end of medium which suits me fine this is designed by michael kennedy developed by david kershaw who's done quite a few games with white dog and art is by jonathan carnell uh, this has just come out i've had it on pre-order uh, with second chance games so uh, the concept is very simply uh, the summer of 1952 in a midwestern town you control a group of seven terrified fugitives fleeing a widespread outbreak of zombies your group has sought refuge in an abandoned home the occupants of the home likely having fled earlier hearing news on the radio of the advancing ghouls as night falls the menacing creatures have arrived at the home and are outside trying to get in so the night is a fast play board game 16 turns starting at dusk ending at dawn you win the game by surviving until daylight using your wits found items and luck to save yourself from the predatory undead creatures so uh, this is very much linked to uh, the famous film uh, zombie film um, and you can see here game components you got the game board, which is a, a paper map board, so I'll probably put that under Plexi. Um, a grid map of the house itself and surrounding yard, so you can identify where things are very easily. 88 counters only, uh, which is good. Low counter density. Eight pages of example of play. One quick reference house map with turn track. One double sided quick reference sheet. And a 16 page rules booklet. So um, some of the features are listed on there as well. But let's get into the box itself and uh, have a look and see what you get. Artwork is incredible, as you can see. Uh, really beautifully done. Just zoom that in. The detail on that face. Something to behold, really. So you'll see the black and white theme. Uh, follows through into the counters and I really like this I think it's a really nice touch so you've got some of the equipment and weapons that you can pick up or use uh, doors and you've got various uh, zombies you can see there again the quality of the designs really nice and then you've got the players uh, when they turn and uh, when they're alive or or, or dead as well so uh, really really nice no reverse so it's one side only uh, and as you can see they're going to be the usual thick quality count and they're going to pop quite easily they're already trying to fall out so that's really good um, we've also got looks like the rules booklet as I say 16 pages go to the back uh, we'll see how many actual rules there are so um yeah it looks like it could be 16 pages but the last three or four pages are optional rules 
and within the optional rules you've got the two player hidden hero option two plus players two players with a zombie player um, so you can see there there's lots of other ways of playing this than just uh, solitaire and even the rule book is set out in that really nice black and white retro look but with really clear concise fonts uh, nice illustrations very easy to follow and understand um, actually going to quite enjoy reading these um, you, know, you can see there kind of sort of the layout it's it's really nicely done so that's great we've got example of play um, so I probably will read this before I actually look at the rules and uh, that looks really interesting it's going to take you through a whole game or certainly part of a game and should be able to pick up a lot there I probably would recommend reading this before you read the rules and then hopefully everything will start to fall into place additionally uh, we've got the, the turn track very simple some good quality card a nice overhead picture of the yard and the house telling you what each of the rooms or areas represent so that should help you in play we've got a quick reference sheet again um, good good thick quality card stock uh, I may just put that in a sleeve uh, it's two-sided so set up uh, is on one side quick reference on the other so quite like that that's nice not too much to look at during the game and then we've got the map um, I'll just set that up so you can have a look at that as well so there you go um, I've just laid the map out it's not under plexi or anything at the moment um, probably would put it under plexi but it's it's laid out quite flat bearing in mind it's been folded in the box uh, this is a map or a game board I'd really love to see uh, White Dog do one of their canvas maps for that's certainly one that would be on my shopping list um, again the black and white uh, retro feel but some really nice sort of design features within the house you've got the, the, the truck you've got the little chair on the veranda there you've got sort of the shed you've got the piano the stairs etc etc it's all very very nicely done uh, adding to the theme and the chrome of of the game um, but there we have it um, the map is of that usual kind of thick paper stock that you get with often with white dog or holland spiel uh, type games but uh, a nice publication looks some really nice good quality uh, components really looking forward to getting this one on the table i may have a little go solo first and then uh, in due course it may be one uh, either with my gaming group or indeed with my wider family this one so um yeah that's the night solitaire zombie attack board game by white dog games hope you've enjoyed this short video and see you again next time